the name of your band and uh, could you all introduce yourselves? We are Reaper, I'm Adam, I play guitar. I'm Shannon, I do vocals. I'm Matt, I play drums. I'm Rebecca, I play bass. How long have you guys been kicking around for and can you give me a brief history? We got together in 2016, me and Matt and another guitarist and a, another vocalist. Um, and then Shannon joined in 2017, just before we did our demo. And then Adam joined in 2019. And that's the brief history. Very brief history. <laughs> yeah. It's a pretty good introduction to that. Yeah. <laughs> you guys uh, have a demo tape and that got um, repressed onto vinyl. Um, who, who repressed that? It's a full up in uh, Go Town. Yeah. It's PC. Who recorded it? Who, yeah, who recorded Adam it? Adam recorded, recorded it. it. <laughs> yeah. Adam recorded it, yeah. Recorded it before he was in the band. Mm. Yeah, so he loved us that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Came to the wall again. And um, yeah, you've just got like a, a fancy new album coming out on Dying Victims. Is yeah. it Dying Victims? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. And um, I've ordered my copy. Um, you have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, you guys recorded with Jason Fuller again for yep. that. Oh, not again, sorry. Excuse but, uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Um, uh, how, how did the recording go? Yeah, it was good. A bit of a crazy two days. Yeah. Oh man, the second day was... The second day was absolute <laughs> hell. I think we celebrated too early the first night and we didn't sleep. Shannon yeah. stayed at my house and we stayed up all night. I hadn't even laid the vocal tracks yet. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're just like, yes, we've done it. We hadn't yeah. done it. We hadn't done it yet. Yeah, we got, got home at about three in the morning. <laughs> Man, we've got to get up. We we're we're got to get up at seven to record. <laughs> <laughs> like, we don't oh. have to be there till seven. We rocked up on the sweeties. Yeah. <laughs> Try and push me through it. Two days we're done pretty much. I think we started mixing by the end of the second day. Yeah. Mega quick, right? Yeah. I reckon it was pretty good. Like a lot of a lot of it was kind of um, <laughs> Well like a lot of it was kind of <laughs> one one take wonders, but then there was a few where I was sitting up with Jason who was a bit like Yeah, it's good. I'm like, nah. Do it again. <laughs> Tell me to do it again. Yeah. No one's got to just say that shit. Yeah. And then like, and then I copped it the next day when I was hungover and just... Yeah, and then me and Adam <laughs> were like, no, nah, no, nah, do it again. Tell <laughs> yeah. me to do it again. <laughs> Phrasing's not right. Can you go, ooh, there? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're about to go on tour. Yep. Um, was, yeah, you're going for a while. Big European. How long's the tour for? Well, we're there for three weeks, but... Pretty much playing for gigs. two. Yeah. yeah, 12 gigs um, back to back. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Is that, oh, 13 or good? Well, yeah, it's 12 yeah, back to back, back and back. Then, then we have a little break to party and then play one more and then head home. No breaks. <laughs> no, no planned breaks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, festival at the start and then a festival at the end, so that'll be really good. Yeah, cool. It's a good finish up. Yeah, and all through Eastern Europe, so that's really good. Yeah, so Should be Places that, um, not many people will usually go, so it's going to be an interesting thing. It'll be an adventure. Yeah, hopefully there's a main Even, even, even yeah. the countries we do right now, puzzles me. It's the venue. <laughs> I don't even know where that is. Uh, <laughs> find out very soon. We just know that they love us there. <laughs> Ready to rock? Um, you guys are definitely on like the punk and metal fringe. Can you give me just like a, a few influences that span the genres? Uh, Hellhammer. Celtic Frost, Hell who? Bathory, <laughs> Venom, Amoebix, Sacrilege, who else we got? Bolt Thrower. Yeah, it's kind of a bit of a mix, like, vocally I kind of like, because I scream and, you know, scream and yell and stuff. I feel like that kind of takes apart from like, UK bands like, Curse UK and Disorder a little bit, because they just like, outlandish vocal styles um, and like yeah bands like Venom yeah 
warfare. I feel like people always interpret our music differently as well. Like so many people say we sound like Dark Throne. Yeah, I right. would have never thought that until Holy shit. I'm listening to it with their sort of interpretation. I guess yeah. it makes sense. Mm. That, word, that word always gets sprung up. Yeah, I suppose Dark Throne's a pretty broad band too, eh? Mm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, would you also consider it weird being on the punk and metal fringe? Like, too punk for metal or too metal for punk? Like, I personally don't mind. I think it's good. I you think it's good. Yeah. But at the same time, it's heavy punk. In my mind, sometimes I kind of second guess for like shows when you try to play. fit into either pocket. I feel I like that's good bringing the shows together like that though. Like mm. can bring all sorts yeah. of yeah. genres together. With the glue that I'm <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's only really an issue in Melbourne. I feel like because the metal scene in Melbourne now is sort of less high energy sort of metal. It's like yeah. guys standing around with their arms crossed kind of serious slow metal. Wearing and shorts the, those, and yeah <laughs> shorts and that and well, they're um, like Serious professionalism. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, totally. That street totally. Level so maybe that's like... why we appeal more to punks because we're sort of we're metal, but we're more high energy. We're not like um, doom. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Totally. I think it's good. Yeah. No, I think it, I think it's good too. Bring it all together. <coughs> Denim mm. and leather. So <laughs> you're together. together yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So as you said in your influences, obviously uh, Celtic Frost and Hellhammer. Um, Tom G. Warrior is probably one of the first originators of the infamous Death Growl before the sick riff is coming up. Yeah. Such as the... <coughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. uh, what are some iconic uh, Death Growls before the sick riff comes in that you guys consider pretty top tier? Uh, Repulsion. Uh, Sepultura, Schizophrenia Era. Metallica as well, Hetfield used to do a few oohs. I reckon obituary if I can go next level with every supper. Is that guy even like singing a song? Yeah. It's just a vocal warm-up, really, isn't it? Even Doom. Yeah, Napalm, like, Napalm Death, I suppose. Yeah. There's it's... fucking heaps of them. <laughs> actually. More I really than kind of, I really kind of appreciated the whole, like, death growl. Mm. Screen kind of thing. Like, when you're kind of, like, limited with, like, one guitar, and you can't do, like, outrageous melodies, yeah. or... You kind of need those fill apart. It's almost like an accent. It's almost like an instrument doing yeah, an accent. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And that's, that's that's kind of how I feel when I like do screams and yeah, death growls and stuff. It kind of like brings in the next part. It's like oh, you know, the punchy part. You just need the, oh. <laughs> exactly. It's kind of like sitting across the line. But um, yeah, definitely uh, propulsion. Yeah. Obituary. Reaper. <laughs> 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 We're taking back the uh. Uh, Bring back the uh. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm waiting for a compilation of like all the death growls I do in this album. <laughs> <laughs> I was listening to it today, I was like trying to count them and I just lost count. <laughs> well maybe I can do that for the video. <laughs>
about four or five per son. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's, or like, it's mandatory. You know, yeah. Death growls, yeah. screams, and when in doubt, haze. just. Oh, just hey. like, just, uh, yeah, we need I'm a never hey, that. Hey. <laughs> but I do say yeah. Um, was it drop the blade before the solid? Yeah. It was like that's sick. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really brings it in. It's only natural. Who would win out of a battle between destruction or Sodom? I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go with Sodom. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Angel Ripper over Schmier. We're doing four piece destruction versus three piece Sodom. Uh, Sodom all the way, I reckon. Yeah. Sodom all the way? Sodom, I think. They're so, they're much, he's, it's just rougher. And he doesn't have manicured um, facial hair. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I, feel like, deal, then, yeah. I feel like that adds, that's a plus. And there's cooking videos as well. What? Yeah, he does cooking. I don't know if he's a chef, but he does a lot of cooking videos. It's quite weird. Fuck, this is news. He does to like me. German TV kind of appearances semi often. I wish it was like kind of like yeah. Japanese, cooking on TV. Japanese style. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah that's, that's cool. That was a bizarre scene. <laughs> yeah. I mean, is new Sodom less embarrassing than new destruction? Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. I feel like Sodom yeah. is just like persevere. Yeah. Like they kept rolling. So, you've toured the world. It's coming up to the the ever so excellent third album. Uh, what direction would you guys go into? Would it be more Cold Lake or uh, Grave New World? I think we'd blend the two together. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> What? Grave New Lake? <laughs> Grave New Lake! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Cold New World. Cold New yeah. World. Cold New World is good. Cold New World That's good. actually Fuck. a good concept. Tie that yeah. down for the third. Yeah. <laughs> Lock that in. Second. Yeah. Grave New World is better I don't know. Probably yeah. disband before that point. <laughs> I've, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've had both those records and flung off. Cold Lake, I still like Great New World, I spin it. Yeah, I know. Uh, I, think <laughs> we know. I think, I think most know people, I think, I think most, I think most people in Melbourne know how I feel about that album. <laughs> it's a classic. Uh, so you guys have played with some like pretty big international bands. Um, what's probably like the most memorable story from those shows? It was pretty funny when we played a dark funeral in Sydney. Yeah. We weren't allowed to. We're told not to go anywhere near it. <laughs> <laughs> not that we wanted to. And like, at what? All, but, yeah. all right, you can't go that upstairs. And, yeah, was... So we, yeah, we took that advice and went to another gig. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we left our own show, but we left our own merch at the show as well, which was kind of stupid. I think people stole our merch. At yeah, that's day. right. Yeah. That was, a, that was an interesting. Uh, yeah, that Maybe. wasn't good, really. Mortis was kind of funny just because it was Mortis. Oh, that's right, yeah. Um, and we were just so ill-suited to playing with someone like that. But yeah, it's a weird, it's a weird build to play, yeah. eh? I remember getting ready for it, and we were all in that. Did you have a that... prosthetic nose as well? Yeah, well, yeah. We, were, we, were, we, were, we were in the back room, and then I just saw this guy like take his shirt off. He was like pacing things on his face. Fuck is that? <laughs> What's this goblin like? Schmeagel, <laughs> <laughs> like straight out of Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Oh, that's the that's, that's Godwin. Or Anwar was. Or Anwar was, was, cool. was, cool. was cool. Who else have we even played with? Blasphemy. Blasphemy. That was cool. Oh, that was mad. Yeah, they're that was really, fucking great. Really nice guys. Um, so. We were meant to play with Deathstrike and Abigail. Abigail, that would be oh. cool. The stalk account. That seems natural. What was that American? Yeah, we'll give you that one. <laughs> Necrop, we played with them. Oh yeah. So, that was. I don't really have any funny ones. I mean, Sydney was ridiculous, but. Mm. Sydney sucks. <laughs> the, the crowd is just. I mean, maybe it's better now, but it wasn't. They didn't we'll like us very soon, much. They said we sound like Testament. It's ridiculous. <laughs> In a review we got, we sound like Testament. I can, can't understand. They just obviously. Like and they testament. said we were tired. Remember? <laughs> tired. <laughs> <laughs> and Adam's like, no, we're just punks. <laughs> we look 
about this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, dark funeral here. Mm. I remember the, like, the, yeah, the stage is really tight as well. Yeah. It's like really tight. Yeah. You yeah, had the two yeah, kids. Right. Yeah. So that's one, right. one for dark funeral and then Matt's who's like banging the center. You had um, Adam and Rebecca on one side and Adam on the other. Uh, Aaron on the other. So I had to like go down to the oh, no. floor and like sing in the fucking <laughs> the pit between the stage and the Oh the fucking barricade. like no man's land. <laughs> yeah. No yeah. man's land. Beyond the barriers. Oh, security almost escorted you. Also, <laughs> we had to supply our own backline interstate. Remember that? Oh, they wouldn't fuck. give us any backline and we had to yeah. organise that to bring our own heads and everything into state. And we got well, paid so. like fifty dollars. Wow. It fucking sucked. Yeah, it's that, a bit of a joke. That's but fucking like, shit with little bit. <laughs> <laughs> We'd love to come back, by the way. The stage is a corona as well. We're actually coming back. <laughs> We're going there with Stalker. Oh yeah, true. Yeah. It'll be better this time. So, outside of uh, shredding pretty hard, uh, what do you guys do for day jobs? Mm, I'm, well, I'm a chef. So you don't do new videos like uh, Old Mate as well? Hey. Videos like the dude out of Sodom as well. Uh, so no, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. I'm getting so, hey, there. fry an egg. No. <laughs> yeah. If you need to fry an egg, come to me. I work in a transfer station, which is like a kind of like a tip, which says a lot about me as a human. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy way of saying I'm the bin man. <laughs> <laughs> the tip rat. <laughs> Um, well, I send morbid letters to people in their letterboxes. Also known as the postman. <laughs> Print t shirts. Oh, Take it off. Yeah, yeah, sweet. So you got your own business? Yeah, I've been doing it for four years now. Adam prints all our shirts. It's pretty cheap. It's yeah. pretty cheap, too. Yeah. Good reason to have them on board. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, and heaps of them merch for everyone around Melbourne, too. Yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Oh, my God.